Promising Directions Graphic Recording, the new inclusive economy in audio and visuals. In May 2023, the new inclusive economy held a virtual sharing circle. Through appreciative inquiry, we heard from people living with disabilities and their experiences in the workplace. We talked about promising practices across various employment sectors, and we heard from people living with disabilities that we need equity, not equality. Employers need to listen and be flexible to hear and support our needs. Providing education for all employers is essential and especially for small businesses, which can diffuse fear or misperceptions. A second group focused on discussing promising directions for government and policy. And pictured in the recording are three individuals standing over a flow chart, discussing that people with disabilities must be included in policy design. When considering people who have been made marginalized, let's go far to the margins and work our way in. We had several small discussions about supporting youth in employment and thinking upstream, as well as hearing about government needing to do more to translate policy frameworks into actionable measures. A third group discussed alternative economic approaches, starting with focus on the strengths of each unique person and focusing on inclusion over profits. This takes place by valuing human impact and having compassion and understanding. We also heard about the kinds of discussions that employers can support employees with, such as asking what can we do better, and having videos on various topics which are especially relevant for youth. Having policies that sing together and toolkits or information bulletins and newsletters can help to support education for employers and small businesses such as explaining how wage caps work and learning about alternative economic approaches and social enterprises. These research findings can support employers with understanding and showcasing who is doing this really well. These lessons learned are like golden sprinkles from the new inclusive economy research. They help to focus on the strengths of each unique person and to look at the whole person. When designing policies, frameworks, and actionable measures, consider that all means all and aim to include all disabilities. To describe the uniqueness of each individual, the kinds of disabilities that people described include cerebral palsy, autism, brain injury, ADHD, epilepsy, COPD, spinal injury, lupus, chronic pain, and multiple sclerosis. We need time, openness, and a holistic approach to encourage a journey from lived experience to leadership. Having such education, supports, and resources can help to support employers and in the promising directions for government and policy can help to create policies that sing together. Small businesses are often the most flexible and also in need of those education and supports. We heard that employers can take the lead in providing mentorship both for themselves as employers and mentorship for their employees. Working to break down silos will very much help to design those policies that are working together and sing together. One of the first steps that can help employers is to clearly define inclusion. Shared in such a way to make them accessible, these sprinkles can be spread throughout all workplaces so as to transform a new inclusive economy.